Alex from Origins of Audio and today we are going to see an example of how to use Pulse. In a previous video we saw an overview of all of Pulse's parameters, so if you haven't watched it already, I suggest you do that first and then watch this video. So as you see here, I have already my uh, instance of contact uh, open and I have already loaded uh, Pulse as well as two other uh, instrument libraries, a string ensemble uh, from contact uh, library and the Scarby base. Uh, for these two instruments, I've created two media channels which I've linked on them. Uh, before going into Pulse, let me show you very quick how to copy uh, a group from an instrument to Pulse. Let's say that I want to copy from this instrument some strings. Let's say that I want to copy the staccatos on my Pulse. Uh, on the group editor, I open actually the group editor, right click on the group uh, I want to copy, uh, copy selected group, use the sex button to exit, go to Pulse, use the wrench key once more, go to group editor, right click and paste groups with sample. Samples, I'm sorry. So my group is already copied now. Uh, one thing that I have to watch is the group start options of the group that I've copied. So I click on them and I see that the manufacturer had uh, already uh, some options for this group. All I've got to do is actually get rid of them. So here which it says on key, I choose always and random, I choose always and I'm going to go. Okay, so let's say that I want to uh, create a sequence based on a, let's say, on a Phrygian mode uh, with a time signature of uh, six eights. The notes that I want to include are the eight and sixteenth uh, notes. Now, all I've got to do is use these three randomizer buttons to uh, transform my sequence. So I hit this once, this and this. By the way, we are on 100 uh, BPM. Let's make this 120. Okay, I like the sequence. So I hit my, I, I press my uh, key on my MIDI keyboard to which I want to export this sequence. So for example, if I press uh, C, actually is this C, because my sequence starts from plus eight semitones, it will start from the G sharp. So I reset, I prepare and I drag and drop, I'm sorry and I drag and drop it on my strings. So, as you see here, I have already exported my sequence, but uh, you obviously have noticed that there's a gap here. This gap is actually due uh, because of the difference of the time signature bequ uh, between uh, contact and between my door. Uh, here, I have created a, sequences, a sequence on 6-8, but on my DAW I have a time signature of 4-4. Four, four. So if I change this on 6-8, I delete this, and again, I drag and drop it. Now it's good to go. And I also have to choose, let's say, the staccatos from my strings. Okay, it's already selected. So if I play it now. Okay, it's very nice. So let's continue this composition by choosing another uh, sequence based on a 6th, 8th and on a Phrygian mode. Okay, I like this again. Again, my root note is my C, but it starts uh, minus four semitones. So it starts again from a, a G sharp. So I reset, I prepare, and I'm ready to drag and drop it. So let's hear them both. Uh, 
And finally, let's continue to uh, 108 uh, time signature. This could be used to uh, a chase scene. So again, I press my C note because I want to be on the same uh, key. Again, we have this uh, gap. So before exporting it, all I could do is create here another time signature, this of the uh, 10 eights. And again, drag and drop it here. So now if I hear it from the beginning, and this is the way to use pulse. Of course, you can alter yourself uh, all the nodes or the pits if you'd like and uh, use uh, uh, the copy and paste functions to copy some uh, uh, of your sequences. Uh, as stated on the previous video, you can use uh, the presets here to uh, save some of your uh, uh, sequence which you like or you find uh, very useful. Uh, that was it. That was an example of how to use Pulse. Uh, if you have any question or uh, if you'd like to say something, please leave a comment down below. Um, this was Alex from Origins of Audio. And thank you very much for watching this video. And if you liked it, click on subscribe or feel free to follow us on uh, Facebook or on Twitter.